Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we gather with heavy hearts to pay tribute to a legendary singer who has left an indelible mark on the world of music. In this video, we honor the life and legacy of Tina Turner as we reflect on their extraordinary career and the impact they had on our lives. It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of Tina Turner, stated the statement that confirmed the music icon's death on May 24. Tina, who was 83 years old and had been facing a long illness, passed away in her house in Kusnacht, which is located near Zurich, Switzerland, according to an extra statement that was given by Tina. The passing of such a cultural figure has caused an outpouring of grief, as well as tributes and sadness. These emotions will reach their zenith during Tina Turner's burial. There will be a private funeral ceremony attended by close friends and family, a spokeswoman for Tina's family told Daily Mail. The ceremony will be held at the funeral home. After Tina's passing, the date of the funeral was not disclosed to the general public. Eddie Hampton Armani, who served as her personal assistant for more than 20 years, recently spoke with the Mirror about the possible events that would take place during the funeral. These events include who will attend the funeral and other similar matters. She did not want a big public funeral, said Hampton. She was very private about her wishes. She expressed a desire to be cremated, and I anticipate that the ceremony will be rather intimate and personal. I have no doubt that there will be some sort of memorial concert and tribute at a later date. Hampton, who is 65 years old, continued. It will be for her very close friends in Switzerland, as well as her manager, she said. There won't be a lot of people in the family there. According to her representative, Tina passed away as a result of natural causes. In the years leading up to her passing, Turner was plagued by a variety of health problems. She suffered from kidney problems as well as a stroke. In 2016, which was three years after she had her stroke, she was also given a diagnosis of intestinal cancer. After Tina relocated to Switzerland in 1994, Edvi maintained communication with her there. The former assistant also stated that once Tina's two sons died, she left the past behind and moved on with her life. Raymond Turner, 59 years old at the time, take his own life in the year 2018. Ronnie Turner, 62 years old at the time of his death from cancer, passed away in 2022. Tina Turner also adopted Ike Turner Jr. and Michael Turner, two of Ike Turner's sons from prior marriages. However, after Tina moved to Switzerland, she had very little contact with Ike Turner Jr. and Michael Turner. We were each other's best pals, Eddie said on the morning show. She was my role model, my heroine, my teacher, and my aunt. I won't say my mother because that would make her angry, I said. Tina is largely responsible for me knowing much of the things I do today. In addition to this, she did not hold your hand or coddle you in any way. It was your responsibility to listen and take in what she had to say in order to fully comprehend what it was that she was trying to convey to you, and I was able to do it. Tina Turner reportedly passed away as a result of natural causes, despite the fact that she had been battling a variety of health difficulties throughout the course of her life, including a stroke and renal disease. In 2016, she was given a diagnosis of cancer of the digestive tract. Stephen Sills, one of Turner's closest friends, recently gave an interview to POPL in which he stated that Turner had no fear of death and was prepared to pass away at any moment. Two years ago, she informed me, she said, Stephen, I'm ready to go anytime. I don't have a morbid fear of dying. My final years on earth have been some of the best of my life. It's been fun, but I'm worn out, he said to himself. The ceremony will not be open to the public. According to a spokeswoman for the family, there will be a private funeral ceremony attended by close friends and family, and this information was shared with the media, attendees or guests who are present. The interview was conducted with Eddie Hampton Armani, who has served as Turner's personal assistant for more than 20 years. She did not want a big public funeral, he stated. She was not a religious person. The funeral service will be held in private, with only immediate family members and close friends in attendance. It is going to be for her very close friends who live in Switzerland, as well as her manager. There won't be a lot of people in the family there. We have witnessed tributes from Oprah Winfrey and King Charles, and Bianchi has even given a live performance of River Deep, Mountain High, which is one of her most successful songs to date. However, 
Over the course of the last several days, the death of the superstar has resurrected the old wounds that her family has worked so hard to try and mend. Although the best singer experienced the heartbreaking death of both of her biological sons, Craig Turner and Ronnie Turner, prior to her own mortality, she is survived by both of her adoptive sons, Ike Turner Jr. and Michael Turner. In addition, we are able to report that she is survived by two grandkids and five great-grandchildren, the majority of whom she was unable to meet in her lifetime. According to sources within the family who spoke to Page Six, many members of the family were unaware that she was battling a life-threatening illness, which has left them in a state of disbelief following her passing. Thwana Turner, Tina's daughter from her first marriage to Ike Turner, expressed her opinion that it's time to mend because the family has been through so much and because they are still going through so much, they really want to recover and they need to. There will never be another Ike and Tina since these two powerhouses were such an entity in their own right. Tina spent the last few decades of her life in Switzerland with her second husband, Erwin Bach, at their estate known as Villa Algonquin, which has a price tag of 76 million Swiss francs, 76 million dollars. The queen of rock and roll had two children of a biological relationship. Tina was only 18 years old when she gave birth to her first child, a son named Craig, whom she had with Raymond Hill, a member of Ike Turner's supporting group. After that, she tied the knot with Ike, who ended up adopting Craig, and the newlyweds went on to have their son Ronnie. She, in turn, became the adoptive mother of Ike Jr. and Michael, whose biological mother was Lorraine Taylor, Ike's first wife. 1978 saw the end of Ike and Tina's notoriously difficult marriage, which ended in divorce. She had a very limited relationship with her son Ronnie's children, Raquel and Randy, and she never had the opportunity to get to know Raquel's two little sons, Tyson and Tyrese. We are told that coming to terms with the death of their father has been difficult for both Raquel and Randy, and that they are still working on it. On the other hand, rumors have it that Raquel possesses a beautiful singing voice. Tiffany Turner Dukes is Michael's daughter, although neither Craig nor Ike Jr. were able to have children of their own. Turner Dukes and her husband have been blessed with the birth of three children, a daughter named Marley and two sons named Amari and Gianni. In addition to being the jewelry designer and an advocate for autistic children, Tiffany is the founder of a non-profit organization that combats bullying. She is also a music producer, and earlier this year she posted on her Instagram account about the convoluted history of her family, writing something to the effect of growing up with a painful childhood along with a famous bloodline is not for the faint. Over the course of my lifetime, I have been able to break many generational curses, and I am still doing so even as I type this. Although Tina's three great-grandchildren through Michael have never met their rock star great-grandmother, they have all inherited Michael's musical talent and are talented musicians in their own right. Juana Turner, who gave an interview to Page Six, is Ike's daughter from his relationship with Tina's friend Pat Richard from their time together in high school. Richard and Tina both went to the same high school in Street Lewis, Tennessee, which was called Sumner High School. At the time, Tina was known by her birth name, Anna Mae Bullock. They would spend time together by going to see Ike play in the local club. Twana, who is 63 years old, stated that the family was left in shambles after Tina passed away following a string of health challenges, including kidney disease. Because the event took place so unexpectedly, no one had heard from Tina in quite some time. However, her passing brought to light all of the headlines that discussed her marriage to Ike. The singer detailed the behavior of her partner during their 20-year relationship in her best-selling autobiography, I, Tina, which was published in 1986. She described how she had suffered burns of the third degree after having hot coffee thrown in her face, as well as how she had her nose smashed so frequently that it caused blood to leak down her throat whenever she sang. She said that the incident occurred when she was performing. She claimed that they led to nightmares that followed her for a significant portion of her life and that they were the cause of her attempt at taking her own life. She alleged that Ike forced her to watch a live display in a brothel on the night of their wedding in Tijuana, Mexico, and that he did this by taking her there. In the movie, What's Love Got to Do With It? from 1993, the marriage was dramatized for the big screen, 
and Angela Bassett gave a performance as Tyna that was nominated for an Academy Award. Ike was portrayed by Lawrence Fishburne. It has been very difficult for the family to discuss the past, as seen by a post that Tina's granddaughter Tiffany, who is 40 years old, made on social media after her grandmother's passing. Rest in freedom, Ronnie and Uncle Craig are eagerly awaiting your arrival. Tiffany, however, responded to the trolls by saying the following, People who only know one side of a sold story will forever have one way to see it. I don't give a damn about what you think you know. You don't know ST if you ain't my bloodline. She went on to say that having renowned grandparents with a narrative like theirs was the most difficult thing for her to deal with. There is such a thing as forgiveness and healing. However, regrettably, that is never the tale that is marketed or given when it comes to this game. If you have a problem with my family history and my surname, you should stop following me in real life. Twana who did not meet Ike until she was 28 years old in 1987, but went on to develop a close relationship with him until his death in December 2007, shared her thoughts with Page Six, saying, When Tina passed away, all I could think was now the floodgates will be open on my dad. I couldn't even grieve Tina. Since the first time I saw him, I've had a guardian instinct about daddy. Ike had always denied Tina, and Twana had stated that Ike had always told her, Baby, if Tina thinks this is what she needs to do to get to where she needs to go, that's between her and God. Never once did he criticize her in any way. The death of Tina's oldest son, Craig, who took his own life on July 3, 2018, at the age of 59, left her in a state of complete and utter devastation. His previous struggles with substance are well documented. At a later point in the same month, she posted the following on Twitter, My saddest experience as a mother. On the evening of Thursday, July 19, 2018, I gathered with my family and friends to disperse my son Craig Raymond Turner's ashes off the coast of California. It was the last time I would see or speak to him. Even though he was 59 years old when he passed away in such a horrible way, he will always be my baby. Then, Ronnie passed away on December 8 of last year due to colon cancer at the age of 62, leaving behind his children and his bereaved wife, Afida Turner. After complaining to a neighbor in Studio City that he was having trouble breathing, he tried to drive himself to the hospital but passed out beside his vehicle on the way there. According to people close to the family, Tina was unable to attend his funeral in Los Angeles. Tuana was overcome with emotion as she explained, I was very close with Ronnie, and we spoke every day. I was just getting to know Craig, and we were over at Craig's house two weeks before he passed away. The fact that Craig had planned to celebrate his birthday by going to see the Tina musical that he was content and so enthusiastic about, and that he had hoped it would be a time of healing for the family, finally, is the reason why it came as such a surprise. And then, we suffered the irreparable loss of my dear brother Ronnie. When he called a family friend who was meant to accompany him to the clinic that morning, he informed her, My chest really hurts. It's hard to breathe. She encouraged him to stay there because she was on her way, but he didn't listen to her advice. He ended up going to the doctor alone. When he passed out on the pavement, he was on his way to his car at the time. Afida, Ronnie's wife, let out that Tina's husband Erwin, whom she wed after a 27-year relationship and 10 years of marriage to him, is going to receive roughly half of her estimated $250 million fortune. Tina's fortune is thought to be over $250 million. Bach, who is 67 years old, was by the star's side when she suffered a stroke shortly after their wedding and he donated one of his kidneys to her in 2017 when she required a transplant. However, Athita stated that it was not apparent who would be is Switzerland is known for its high level of privacy, and residents are not required to file their wills with any official authority. It is not believed to be information that should be made public. However, there will be a formal opening of the will in Milan, but we have been assured that this event will not be open to the general public. In the meantime, Raquel, Ronnie's daughter, has had more than her fair share of problems of her own. She started a GoFundMe campaign in April 2017 to collect funds in order to pay for the legal fees associated with obtaining custody of her son Tyson, whose father is Carl Oldnettle. She has obtained temporary restraining orders against Oldnettle 
45 in Los Angeles on two separate occasions. The first one was in 2019, but it was allowed to expire, and the second one was in 2022. However, members of Raquel's family have stated that despite the fact that she went through a challenging period in her life, she is doing better now, and that she has inherited her grandmother's wonderful voice. Raquel is currently in her 30s. Additionally, she has a strong relationship with her brother Randy, who is 36 years old and also resides in the Los Angeles area. Tuana shared their thoughts, saying, It's been very difficult, and because of this, the family just needs some time to be together and grieve. Thanks for watching.